500 subs. In all honesty, I never would have thought that 500 people would like listen to the opinion of this guy right here. But hey, here we are. Before I begin this video, I just want to say thank you. With each video, I strive to be better than I was in the last one, and hopefully you guys can see that. Without that out of the way, let's begin this special video. For this video here, I thought that I would do something a little bit different, and I would tell you the motivations why I started this channel, and tell you a few promises that I'm gonna make to you guys. So, let's get down to it. Around Christmas of last year, I watched a video that the Daily Wire was running over on their Facebook page that was called, Why These Gaming Franchises Have Failed, or Have Crashed. Something like that, I can't exactly remember the title of it. In the video, it pretty much talks about wokeness in video games, in the video game industry. And if you have watched this video, you would know that it features Jeremy and Ryan Kinnell from Geeks and Gamers. After watching this video, I went ahead, I had no clue who these people were. I went ahead and I searched them up on YouTube. And sure enough, I fall right in love with their content. So I started watching the Geek and Gamers videos and I started kind of following other content creators who I had no clue existed. And I really enjoyed it, you know? It was nice to know that I'm not the only one that has these opinions about these things. And I don't know, it was just a really nice feeling to see. So I was watching these videos while I was also creating content over on the Hive blockchain. No, I'm not gonna promote the Hive blockchain in this video, but what I will say is that it's an amazing community and I highly suggest you check it out. While I was creating content over in Hive, which is these little write-ups about video games and that I would do, a thought kept entering my head. And that was, I wanted to create videos. But there's a problem, there's a very big problem. Ever since I was a kid, I have always been anxious about my voice. Growing up, I've been picked on because of my speech problems, so, you know, it was just this kind of mindset that I had that, uh, uh, that I sound fucked up, if I'm being completely honest. I bit the bullet and decided to start posting gameplay videos over in Peak D, and through the awesome community that is over there, that is over on the high blockchain, I learned that my, my, my voice didn't sound as fucked up as I thought it did. Make a longer story shorter. This here is what kind of brought me over to YouTube. When The Witcher 4 was announced, I really wanted to share my opinions about it, but I didn't really want to do a regular write-up. I wanted to do another video. So I broke out this crappy 720p head came I had, and I decided to make a video going over my thoughts, but where The Witcher 4 could go. And I don't think I have that video up on YouTube anymore. I'm not sure if I took it down or not. But you could honestly tell that it, it was a 720p webcam, right? It, it looked absolutely horrible. But that is what made me fall in love with creating videos, which I never thought would be possible. And that is why I'm doing this stuff. I like sharing my opinions. I enjoy doing these videos. I, it, it's, it's, it's just something I like to do. I don't care how big this channel may get. I don't care how small it may get. It's going to be something that I am going to be continuing to do. Knowing that I wanted to shift some of my focus over on YouTube, especially when I closed down my business for the season, I went and used some of the earnings I made from Hive and I bought a decent mic, which you see here, and I bought a good web cam. And even though I kind of came to terms that my voice wasn't as messed up as I thought it was, I was still really anxious about talking fast like I normally do because I thought that people would not understand me. And this is something that I kind of became fixated on. It was this whole paranoia thing for me. That is why in all my videos up until last week, you saw that I was talking really slow in them. It's because I thought that if I talked too fast, if I talked like I normally would, you guys would have no fucking clue what I was saying. In the video I posted where I talked like I normally do, I was that tired. I actually didn't know what I was doing. And it was this... I don't know what you would call it, right? It, it was just this like oblivious moment. I didn't realize that I wasn't talking slow until I started editing it. But I decided to say, hey, you know what, God, I'm going to post this, see how it does. And apparently you guys understood what I was saying. They did, you know, pretty decent for a small channel. So you can see, you're going to be seeing that more after. I'm not going to be talking slow. I'm going to be talking like I normally talk as you guys seem to be enjoying that. When I made this channel, I had one goal in mind. I want to be another voice in the war against wokeness, hypocrisy, and generally the stupidity that is infecting all aspects of our life. And since I love video games, I thought that I would tackle these issues happening in the video game industry 
while also sharing some of my other opinions about games that I have. And this leads me to this video right here. It has been a huge learning experience for me on YouTube and all that stuff. And I expect to learn a lot more in the future as hopefully this channel grows. But I want to get down to the more important aspect of this video. And that is a few promises I'm going to make to you guys. And I want you guys to hold me to them. I promise that I will always just be me. I will always voice my very real opinions, whether they're blunt, whether they might be considered offensive, whatever they are, I will always voice them as that's why you started this channel. I'm not going to coat my words i'm not going to sugarcoat stuff i'm not that person i'm going to be 100 real with you guys and as it says in my description or, or and over my twitter buyer if you follow me over there if you don't like it you can get you can get the fuck out of here right like there's not going to be no hard feelings or nothing like that i understand some people don't like blindness some people don't like cursing that is all personal preference and i'm not going to change that just for a handful of people I promise that i will always communicate with you guys i absolutely love talking to you guys in the comment sections learning your opinions and takes on the things that I am covering. Something I like doing, I like talking. It's something I've always liked. I like discussing things with you guys. It, it, it's just fun to me if I'm being honest, right? I, 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 I just like talking to people. I like learning what they're thinking, learning stuff about them. You know, uh, uh, despite having generalized anxiety disorder, and which is funny because a lot of that comes from uh, being in crowded places and that, I, I I like talking to people, right? Well, it, it's weird. I, I I don't know what you would say, but that's just me. I promise that as long as I have this channel, I will call out wokeness when I see it. I absolutely hate wokeness. I think it is a cancer to society, like a lot of you guys think. And if you subscribe to me, if you watched my other videos, you would know that I've always said this. Since I started this YouTube channel, it's something that I've always been on, that wokeness, it's, it's horrible. That's absolutely not okay and i promise that i will always try to deliver the best content possible at the beginning of this video i said that i strive to be better with every video and if i'm speaking for myself if you watch some of my earlier videos you will definitely see that there has been an improvement whether that is through the way i'm speaking through the way i figured out how to change the settings to make it actually look good make the rep cam and shit work properly like it's supposed to work which once i figured out how to do that which how i figured out how to get obs working properly i felt like a complete idiot for the earlier videos i posted but you know if you can't laugh at, at your mistakes what can you laugh at i actually never thought that i would reach 500 subs and seeing that number well i think it's 570 subs now it's just nuts it, i i find it is absolutely nuts now one of the things that i will always cover is video game related content I plan on making at least three videos about stuff that's going on in the video game industry a week, but I have been thinking about branching out to other media such as TV slash the movie industry, because I have some opinions about that stuff too. I wouldn't mean sharing, but let me know what you guys think down below about that idea. And that pretty much brings me to the end of this video. I know I've said it before, but I really need to say it again. Thank you for the five hundred subs i know it may not seem like a lot to some people but to me i'm more than fine with it and who knows i might have to come up with an idea for another special video if i ever reach a thousand subscribers but in case you guys didn't know i'm gamer geek i hope you guys have an amazing and wonderful day peace